Hey guys, today is July the 6th of 2014. I want to go over the Euro using price and time technical analysis, but know this is an educational video only, so please pause the video and read the video disclaimer. Alright, I've been out of the loop for the last couple of weeks. Um, so this is my f video that I haven't done in a while, and I wanted to keep you up to loop and up to speed on what's going on with the Euro. Uh, while I was on vacation, I was monitoring the Euro, but I was on my laptop. I didn't have all the tools and uh, software and programs I use uh, to do in-depth calculations. <clears throat> but uh, let's get right into it. It might be a little long video. I don't know. I'm going to try to brush up as fast as I can. Uh, but I just wanted to kind of let you see all the angles and everything to get a better perspective on where we are with the euro regards price and time and what to expect in the next uh, couple of weeks and, you know, for the whole month of July. All right, so we first start off with our... CLT commitment of traders report you can see that uh, on Tuesday the report came out and uh, large speculators are still shorting compared to uh, last week they were 58,000 now this is a uh, 61,000 uh, and commercial was 90 97,000 and they were 94 so large speculators are shorting and commercial are still buying you can see the sentiment uh, while it was going down here was going up and now it's turning and you know looking at this maybe it could mean that it could be pushing down uh, but that's just according to what I see here in regards to uh, positions uh, large speculators are still shorting with retail and commercial are buying as of Tuesday so I figure I'll let you know uh, what I see there. Uh, next thing I want to do is um, let's go to this chart. Uh, seasonal dates. These are the seasonal dates you want to watch for July the 14th, the 21st, and the 28th. There are only three for this month, and uh, just keep an eye on those. Uh, a lot, of, you know, sometimes the seasonal dates work, sometimes they don't. Uh, as you can see, we put a pivot low on 612. We put a pivot high on July the 1st. And we broke the rule of uh, three bar and we broke down. We put the GAN swing. You see that we've been going up and, you know, since the first we've cracked it and failed. And now the swing is to the downside. But you can see we're still holding the medium Andrew's pitchfork, which is right here. So as of now, the swing is to the downside because we cracked the three bar rule. Um, let's delete that. Uh, these right here are stops. So, like, if you were long, uh, with this pullback, if you're using the ATR, there was a bunch of stops here. They got stopped out. Uh, your next stop would be somewhere around the uh, 35, 36. So would probably be more stops if this is going to push lower. Grab those right here. Uh, and if you're, uh, that's if you're long. You, these are the stops where, you know, where they probably would be. If you're short, these are the stops that are building up in the area. Uh, that if this pops, it's going to it's gonna be hitting these and going with momentum up. Um, what else I wanted to show you this is Andrew's pitchfork which is right here uh, it's a big angle and we I was thinking that it was gonna hold it but it failed and now it's right below it um, there's a lot of things you know in the next couple of days coming up uh, this angle should hold but if it doesn't hold uh, in the next couple of days could be a possible turn and I'll be showing you why on what I'm looking for uh, but, you know, it wouldn't surprise me if we kiss this and we push lower. Uh, you, you do price retracement. You crack the 50% from this swing. And uh, you got the 75%, which is at 35.58 right here. Um, one of the reasons why I think this level was holding so around here uh, as support, uh, if you do uh, price retracement, you got a 50% level right here, which is at 34.93 uh, from from a big swing, and if you uh, add another one, you have a 25%. So this is from this swing right here. The 25% is from the July uh, July 24th of 2012. So uh, from that low to this high right here of uh, May 8th, you just you know almost kissed it, but found support around here that 35. Uh, 3502 that's where it bounced right off here the 25% so it's still strong you know this is just chopping sideways but it's still strong 
Uh, there's anything else I want to show you in this chart? Uh, I think that's it. Um, these are the dates you want to keep an eye on. Write them down. Uh, and this is where we're at. You know, my uh, analysis, I think we're going to turn. Uh, but if it pushes lower, you know, there's going to be some support down here. Um, I think that's it for that chart. Next thing I want to show you is uh, my timing solution. Uh, as you can see right here, we're gonna go. We're gonna go step by step. The Bradley model. This is Astro te te Technical Analysis. Uh, pivot points that are coming up right now will be the 15th. So this thing could probably, you know, I'm thinking it's gonna go up. But if it goes lower, it could find support on the 15, you know, 15, 16. Uh, or if it goes higher, it could find a pivot 15 or 16 right there, uh, and then pull back. Uh, so that's the only thing I see here. Now we use the uh, Bradley, uh, you know, uh, adjusted to the euro. You know, we have one coming right here, the ninth. So ninth, tenth, uh, uh, could go sideways, could could pull lower, and somewhere between the ninth and tenth, maybe pull and shoot up higher and do another leg. So I'm just giving you different scenarios of what you know what could possibly happen. Uh, you can see that right here, it kind of found a pivot low right here and went higher. Uh, so now it could probably pull down. And maybe shoot another leg up or maybe shoot another leg up and maybe pull down so you know it depends how it's going to go but I'm just showing you the the anchor points you know with the Bradley uh, model next thing is the turbo cycles I use uh, they show that the uh, uh, the cycles to the upside so maybe uh, any pullback down will be a possible you know buying opportunity to go up and the cycle kind of tops out anywhere from the 11th you know kind of flattens out here uh, 15, you know, if it's the middle, uh, and then it kind of pulls down all the way to the uh, the 20th of, of August. So we'll see. Uh, we do another cycle here, adjusted to the euro, and you can see it's almost the same thing. Uh, 15, 16, 17, around there. So you know, made a pivot here. So it could probably continue trending higher to around that uh, time frame. So keep an eye on that. You know, the 14, 15, 16, 17, somewhere around there could probably you know do a top and then pull back out um, next thing um, uh, planetary and uh, planetary lines uh, this is uh, Mars right here Mars has been holding euro uh, and it looks like you know the moon right here is going to be crossing Mars uh, could possibly be a pop which would be the seventh you know it's gonna it's gonna come in uh, it came in on the fifth so maybe you know the change in trend could kick in uh, but we'll see this is all speculation this to re this is to re to be seen this week if it's gonna happen uh, but I'm showing you the stuff that I use to uh, analyze the euro so uh, Mars is pretty much support right now and uh, we'll see how you know how this uh, day candle uh, when it pops up today uh, how it's gonna behave and what the price action is gonna be uh, this is uh, same thing using uh, Helio uh, and this is the Sun right now and that's where the price of the euro is somewhere around where the Sun is at and uh, we'll see this is uh, Mars right here if it continues pushing lower this could be possible support uh, it's been trying to hold it right here which is that 3560 ish level now going into the the geometry of things uh, that was all more astro. Now this is more uh, geometry. Using the GAN square of nine, you can see. If you look at my earlier videos, I was hoping that yeah, I was thinking the euro was going to follow this angle right here and continue trending higher, but it didn't. It fell down and then went up, found resistance at this angle right here, pushed down lower, and uh, uh, this is going to be the candle was going to be popping up the seventh. And right here you have an uh, uh, time series, which is the ninth and 10th and you got the 17 and 18 and uh, a lot of that stuff lines up with the Bradley model right here especially I think this one right here you see 9 and 10 lines up with the square of 9 so it should be interesting what kind of vibration or or what's gonna happen when when the euro gets here if it's still chopping down will it get a pop here you know we'll see uh, using the uh, ellipse, you can see right here, 
um, that we're at an anchor point where it could possibly turn and do a pop right here and it's been holding this uh, angle right here so we'll see uh, maybe it could continue pushing higher onto you know maybe the uh, right here the 28th uh, but we'll see just want to show you a little things that I noticed on the euro in regards to geometry uh, we continue going down in regards to harmonics the harmonics now are turning up um, the harmonic wave and it and it you know tops out on the 14 15 which lines up with a lot of the cycles uh, same thing here so it should be interesting how that's gonna pan out in regards to the harmonics uh, using the saw uh, also it uh, it does a pivot low on the fifth so it should be interesting what uh, today's uh, candle action will bring if it's gonna be bullish could be a good opportunity to buy and uh, using the Fourier string uh, it looks like it, it it bottoms out on the ninth and tenth. So there's a lot of things going on between the seventh, eighth, ninth, and tenth, uh, right here. Uh, you use a harmonic string. Uh, you can see that it did a pivot low, uh, pivot top here, but price action pivot low on the fourth. And maybe this could continue going higher all the way to the twenty fifth. So I'm just showing you different things how I see the market. Um, look at using the one twenty one two eight technique. You can see that we have a, a time series on the uh, fifth, so it could be a possible change in trend or pivot low to pop even higher. You can see that it found resistance right up there. Uh, time series kicks in right here. It could probably push the euro even higher. Uh, looking at the weekly bar, you can see that last week, two, well, three weeks ago was bullish, bullish. This week was pretty bearish. And uh, looking in regards to months and in, in regards to box grids, you can see that last month was pretty uh, bullish and uh, two months ago was very bearish. And you can see this is the month now that ends all the way over here uh, for August. So we'll see this, you know, it's early right now, but we'll see. And if you combine them together, it's kind of, you know, kind of bearish right now, but we'll see if this low will hold. Uh, uh, this week uh, anything else I think that's it in regards to the euro let's go to the uh, uh, think or swim charts you can see that it's holding right here the one by one it failed at 50 which ain't good uh, it might might retest it again but you know uh, we'll see but it's it's holding the one by one and kind of dancing around the uh, 20 simple moving average uh, you can see that this is the swing right here it cracked the 50 and now it's hanging around the six sixty two point five uh, you know PPSL signal uh, below the MOBO band this is the one hour chart so we should see how the range is going to be this is a five minute and this is the action for uh, Friday and we're going to see how that's going to pan out this is a 15 and that's that 3610 so that's a key level to watch if it gets above that uh, it could be a good buying opportunity. Uh, if you look at the linear regression channel uh, grid, you can see that it's been holding this angle right here. It's been holding it here too. Uh, and it failed it here, but now it's this is a minor. This is five minutes. It's trying to, uh, needs to get above that channel. It failed it here in the one hour, uh, and it's around here. Uh, failed it here. Uh, still trying to stay above that uh, linear channel and uh, it's somewhere you know right here in the weekly uh, not that not that far from down here and uh, you got this as support right here this linear regression channel right here uh, the, the good thing that the, the thing that's not that great is got a PPSL signal and you got a PPSL signal on the monthly also uh, anything here same thing here you know you're below the uh, cloud on the daily which is short term bearish you lost a point of control which is at 36 uh, 36 36 level right here and you're right here holding this uh, Woody's pivot right here monthly uh, as support right now if you look at the weekly you're above the uh, cloud medium term so it's still bullish having a tough time with the 50 trying to stay above it but you know in mobo so you're pretty chop um, and you're on this linear regression channel right here uh, holding at least the uh, trying to stay at least above the uh, 
the 37.5 percent level right here yep and looking at the big picture you can see same thing holding this linear regression channel uh, Tima is all negative Fisher negative 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 so there's a lot of things negative 12 hours very negative but looks like it's looks like it's about to start doing a cycle to the upside uh, on the 12 hour but you know will uh, remain to be seen on the uh, weekly uh, real negative we've got a squeeze play and it has trigger green to the downside uh, all these uh, Fisher uh, indicators are signaling that you know the the turn to the upside might be in coming in I'm waiting for the uh, purple one to kick in right here the Fisher and uh, the monthly we got a PPS sell signal so it hasn't cracked this level which is the mobile so it needs to hold this if it pushes lower it's gonna test this low and if it cracks that then it's definitely gonna push even lower dates that I'm watching are the uh, 7th which is uh, Monday um, the 9th and the uh, 10th the 7th the 9th and the 10th same thing here the dates that I'm watching and these are the dates for July that I, I have an eye on uh, these are the uh, GAN emblem pivot points that I'm looking for the 8th uh, the 6th which is Sunday uh, Pivot lows I'm looking for in geometry are the 8th, 10th, 16th. Uh, keep an eye on the 10th also. Ermanometry, 7th, 8th, and 9th. I got an eye on. Uh, square outs, July 6th. And uh, July 12th. Uh, Astro model, this is uh, in testing mode. So I got model 1 and I got model 2. Uh, and these are things that I'm watching 7th, 9th. You know, a buy signal and uh, the 8th, uh, 4.30, uh, pivot low on July 4th. So these are the dates that are on my radar as of now that I'm keeping an eye on for this week. Uh, hopefully this helps. I'll keep you posted on, on the Euro, uh, but I'm, I'm looking for uh, buying opportunities uh, to go long, uh, to go higher.